Guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. About 7:55 this morning, a little later than I usually wake up, but I woke up at that time, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, if some of you guys may know, if you're following me up on my Instagram, if you're not, you might as well go do that so you're up to date with more stuff. Just because I don't post as often on here as I do on Instagram, but I officially ended my cut. Um, I had some things with work that weren't allowing me to do the cardio that I was doing, so I came off of that, and now I'm kind of slowly getting into a lean. So this whole video is going to kind of be about I'm going to kind of show you guys what I'm doing you know to get my lean bulk I'm not going to go through my meals yet just because I am slowly getting back into eating more calories um, when you lean bulk or you are going either from a shred or from a bulk and you want to lean down or you want to lean bulk you either want to slowly add back on calories or you slowly want to come off calories into it and you have to find like that happy medium for yourself to do so so that's what I'm kind of doing right now that's why I'm not going to go through like all my meals but I do have more calories here than I normally would also been working out a little later so um, this is my first meal before my workout actually I have two now so this is just my breakfast now I'm actually gonna add more on if I'm gonna continue to work out at I think we're working out at 11 today so yeah my breakfast will be heavily impacted I'll eat more for breakfast instead of uh, just lightly just because we used to work out so early in the morning yeah, that's kind of like something I changed you know just increasing calories uh, also time change in the working out this will be here shortly we're gonna kind of go dink around this morning before we work out and yeah I'll see you guys later for the work all right, so we just pulled up the crunch. As you guys saw in the last vlog that I had, we found a gym that was open. We go here now, we don't go to LA anymore. LA actually might close. Uh, they were actually supposed to open today, I think, but they didn't. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I just think it's because they're in debt and they're honestly just gonna close. But we got some back and shoulders today. I brought my big man, Ez, with me. Getting that lift in. What's going on? Yeah, we'll see y'all in there. All right, guys, for the workout video you're about to see, I usually do not start with bent over rows with the Smith machine. I usually start with T bar rows instead. But you know how it is. Sometimes you go into the gym, all the equipment's being used up, and you just got to do what you got to do. Uh, I actually didn't like some of the equipment I was using, but it's whatever. Um, back workout actually killed the next. I was actually sore. So if you guys want to try it, go for it. Um, but that's typically not what I do. And I just told you guys I would show you what I was going to do, but that's not what I did. So enjoy.
just got back home after our workout, me and James went and took a couple pictures at Chambers. You know, I had to get those pics for the gram. Right now I'm just cooking my anabolic French toast inspired by Greg Doucette, as you guys already know. Got four slices cooking right here. Um, the bread I currently use is this French bread, I think it's called. I don't even know. It's called Classic French by Seattle International, and it's only 70 calories per slice. On my cut, I was only doing about two to three slices, um, but I added on one more slice just to get those extra calories in as I slowly, you know, go into this lean bowl. And I also got this over here. I'm gonna try it because I know a lot of people have been like putting this on their French toast and whatnot. Uh, it's this like Hershey's, uh, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know. Why can't I think of it? Think of it, come on. It's not even that hard. Whip. So I'm gonna try this on it. Um, yeah, I had to go walk over to it and make sure it was caramel or whatever I said it was. My memory is so bad. Yeah, I'm just whipping that up. I uh, wanted to keep you guys updated on where I increased my calories. This is like the only place I've increased my calories thus far. As I keep on like, you know, bulking up and whatnot, you know, getting this lean bulk going, I will add like more so another meal. Not really like a whole other meal, but I will add a lot more into all my other meals just to increase the calories. I'm gonna eat this though. I'm probably gonna go get a coffee. I'm still a little tired, or at least I think I am, or coffee just sounds good. And then James and I are going to do some cardio, and then it's Dayton's 21st birthday today, so happy birthday to Dayton. And we're gonna go there and kind of just end the day. Where I am, you know we had to get ourselves a rain. I'm probably not gonna drink the whole thing, we're only gonna drink half, I'm not trying to have a heart attack. But if you've made it this far in the video, uh, let me roll up James' window real quick. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, um, you're gonna need a track, or you're gonna need somewhere where you can run straight forward. <laughs> Yeah, straight forward is the same thing, and back. Because, yeah, I'll explain more when we get there, but yeah, you're gonna need a track or a field of some sort, or even a road of road works, but you gotta have like a good configuration up here to get where we're going, but we'll see you guys there. Quick tip when you're driving somewhere and there's no parking space available, always be sure to park right here. Um, it's usually the best parking space. Uh, there's never anyone there. Just a PSA for y'all. All right, now some of you guys might be asking yourself, Levi, why are you doing this kind of cardio on your lean bull? Well, what I'm trying to do with this kind of cardio is build up my hamstrings. When you do sprints, you're working certain parts of your hamstrings that normally wouldn't get worked from doing anything like uh, leg curls, deadlifts, any of that stuff. Plus, it's also kind of fun. You can get faster by doing it. Um, last time we did the 100 meter dash, I ran 11.1. Didn't feel fatigued after it. Last time you guys saw us run that 100 yard dash. I felt like life had left my body and uh, there was no remains. Also, I don't need to do this cardio like daily. Um, I only need to do it like two to three times a week for optimal muscle building instead of like walking on the treadmill for like 40 minutes every day. So that's why we're doing that. And you guys should get with it because hamstrings are a tough muscle to build and no one has them. And this is low key kind of like a secret thing you can do, so. All right, so we just finished up the cardio session. I was gonna set up the camera and talk, but like literally a car like pulled in like right behind us in our spot. She was like, are you guys leaving? And I was like, yeah, we're leaving. She was like, okay, I'm perfect, I'm out of here. Just have to work out, I'll put it somewhere up on the screen so you guys get like more accurate description of what it was. Basically, it's just 100 yard sprint, 100 yard walk back. I'm pretty sure I already kind of described it, but I'll do the exact workout we did. We're just gonna work our way up from there because obviously when you start any sort of workout, you have to, you know, get ground for it first before you can like do the full on workout because usually the workout was like two more full sets of what we did. But right now we're gonna head back home. Um, that was what I did for cardio, I'm dead. I can barely think, I was seeing stars at the end of my workout. Um, also, water is super, super, super important when uh, doing this type of shit. Like I feel like I'm very dehydrated right now. I am, I know I am. Uh, the rain didn't help, caffeine actually will dehydrate you to an extent just because um, you know, the caffeine helps to like make your body work faster and it's like flushing everything out of you. So you're peeing more, which is making you more dehydrated. So definitely more dehydrated. Wasn't just because of that, but that didn't help. Just make sure you're always drinking water. You know, if you have a cardio day, even if you don't, you just always want to stay hydrated. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that because there's a time to be, you know, like, oh yeah, whatever. And there's a time to be serious.
guys, and before I go to bed, I'm just having my egg whites right here. Normally, I would have a protein shake, but I've already had two protein shakes today, and I want a whole food source of protein. Like I said, I'll give you guys, you know, a full day of eating again for my lean bulk, because I don't even know what the total calories and macros are. I just know that they are higher than what they previously were from my cut. Yeah, I'll go more and more in depth into this lean bulk as it continues uh, once we reach more so the peak or once we get our foot into the door of actually starting the lean bulk because the lean bulk for me technically doesn't start until the diet is into play um, and everything is just there. But as you guys saw, my style of training hasn't changed and switched up the split really. Um, I just you know start with heavy compounds and I lift and then I kind of do some lighter ones and that's just kind of like my style of training. That's why I like the most. Uh, it's the most effective for me. It's what I enjoy the most as well. I'm gonna run you guys through the plan real quick on how I plan, you know, going from a cut into a lean bulk. Or, you know, you can do this reverse ways too. So everything I'm about to say, you can literally apply it if you're trying to you know, go from full on bulk mode to lean bulk. Like I said earlier, um, I'm trying to adjust my calories back to a lean bulk calorie kind of area for me. What that looks like is about, I would say, anywhere from 3,000 to 3,300. I also do about two to three days of cardio in between there and I have been working out seven days a week. I'm going to start taking at least one off day during the week just because I feel like my body needs it. I feel like I've been very tight ever since I haven't been you know, taking off days so I definitely should be doing that. But right now, if I were to guess, I think I'm around 2,500, 2,600-ish calories, and I'm just gonna keep slowly making my way up, just because you don't wanna, you know, take your body from either a calorie deficit or, you know, a calorie over intake or whatever the hell you call it, from one to the other really fast. Uh, it's not the most beneficial to you, and um, especially if, if you're like cutting and then you go straight into that the next day, you'll get bloated for about a few days and you're gonna beat yourself up and then you're gonna wanna go back into a cut and then you might binge eat and then you're gonna end up like me and you're gonna be super unhappy for like three months and then yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the plan. Um, I will adjust my training probably in like the next like five weeks. I really like what I'm doing. Um, James likes when it's switched up a little bit. Um, I know he has his own weak points, so you know, he's gotta focus on that, but at the same time, I'm gonna keep doing something if I want to and if it's working well. I'm just sharing this with you guys because you know there's a lot of people out there that really just don't know how to do this stuff. And you know, I really want people to know how to do this stuff because you know, I was at that point once, didn't know what to do, kind of found out what to do, and now I'm here telling you guys what to do from my learning experience. But yeah, like I said, we're just kind of getting our footsteps in the door of this lean bulk. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated about it. Um, the primary goal of this lean bulk is to probably get up to 175, my heaviest, when I was on my bulk lean bulk, kind of turned into a bulk, I think I was gonna eat that, was about 170 pounds. So ideally, I would like to get to 175, and hopefully by the end of December, I'm about 180-ish. That would be the goal. And then I will compete in the summer of 2021. Long time from now, but we're getting ready for it now. We're always training for whatever the next big thing might be, whether it's just improvement or whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Very short, simple video. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.